This is a quick video about how to put your wind chime together. So I am using someone's wind chime that was actually in the box. They have included extra holes. I'm just gonna show you how to string through this middle hole. You should have 10 balls and then the pieces of your wind chime. I'm going to string my first piece up through the top and so this is going to need to have something to hold. And I am simply just going to fold this over and make a knot. This is very thick line, so you should be fine. I'm just holding the knot, looping through the hole. There's nothing fancy about it. If you know some fancier knots, you can totally use them. But this is supposed to be a tight enough knot by just pulling it. If you wanted, you could fold this over if you make this longer and make a double knot. So this is going to be where my first piece hangs. You have to decide how long that you want that to be before you string the next thing on. The next thing I'm going to do is put one of my balls of clay in here. This is going to hold this piece in place. So decide where you want that to be. If you want this to be, hang a little bit, if you want a little string or you want it shorter, that's totally up to you. I'm going to put this in here. And I am going to simply take my long thread I'm going to go through one time, pull through, and I'm going to tie this off. And by tying this off, I'm going to put this through here, pull through, oh, I didn't grab my line there. Take this through. Before you pull this all the way through, you want to make sure that you are taking this back through that loop. Now, there are many ways that you could do this. This is just one, but I'm just simply going to put a little knot in here. And what this is going to do is hold this in place. So I've come to my last one, and what I wanna show you again is you go back down through. As you pull this tight, you go through this hole and through this hole down here. And you need to be careful through that one, through this one. And you need to know where you want that to be because you need to pull that top one tighter before you pull that bottom one. Otherwise, you're going to end up, I start a little bit higher, otherwise it's gonna end up dropping down on you. And then, if I want another one in there to kind of ding against that, I'm going to make it not very far away from this one. Some people are going to use these as water features. Some people have made their bells deep, so they definitely will chime. I'm going to put this second one right here. The hardest part is at the first when this string is really long. If something happened to your string, just let us know. So I've pulled that through. I've got to go back through that loop to hold it in place. Oh, I think I missed it. So I go back through that loop, and then I have to catch this loop here. And that's going to hold those two pieces in place, and when that rings, that, that should be dinging against this bell. <clears throat> and I'm going to continue on, and I'm just going to put my next bell on here. And then you have to decide where you want that, where you want this next, 
bell to hang and that's where you will tie on your next ball. All right, I'm gonna put you on fast motion. I will show you when I am complete. So I've come to my last one and what I want to show you again is you go back down through. As you pull this tight, you go through this hole and through this hole down here. And you need to be careful through that one, through this one. And you need to know where you want that to be because you need to pull that top one tighter before you pull that bottom one. Otherwise, you're going to end up, I start a little bit higher, otherwise it's gonna end up dropping down on you. So this is my last one that I'm doing here and I want this one to be really tight. So I'm, I'm actually gonna go through here again, through that little hole. And I'm going to be pulling this tight a couple times. And if you wanted, you can even wrap around this. I'm just making sure that I'm tying enough knots in here. I don't, I may be doing a fancy knot. I don't know that I am doing a fancy knot, but I'm definitely gonna tie this a few times around here and pull that really, really tight. And I'm probably gonna leave a little bit of tail. Some people even take a little lighter and they would go under there just to make sure that that's going to stay tight for you. But when you get done, you should have something like this. If you want it to ring more, you need to get those closer to your bells. So thank you very much. And I'll probably move that end back up to the beginning so that you can see that.